How to fly in GTA 5. First, look at your minimap, and this will show you the altitude of your plane on the little bars. Also, it will show you the tilt of your plane. Remember, the f number one rule when you're flying is never fly in a storm, as this can cause you to not be able to see as well as you would in the daylight and may crash into certain things. This first clip is how to fly a helicopter. Now once you get in here, you're going to want to make sure you have the right safety and equipment to fly this vehicle. Then you are going to want to take off by slowly pushing the right trigger to lift your helicopter off the ground. When taking off in your helicopter, make sure to not fire rockets too quickly as this might cause you to explode violently. When landing your helicopter, you are want you're going to want to slowly keep your helicopter level and slowly go down the ground by tapping the left trigger a couple of times. Another note when landing a helicopter is make sure there is no debris in the in or on your landing pad or make sure nothing spawns right under you like happens here. Remember, when you're in a vehicle that fires rockets and machine gun bullets, make sure that you do not aim at the ground, as this can cause you to kill pedestrians, other players, and cops. The worst thing ever. When taking off in a cargo bob, it may take longer for the rotors to get spinning fast enough to get it off the ground, as the cargo bob is heavier than the Maverick and the Buzzard attack chopper. Some helicopters have the capability of picking up another vehicle and bringing it to another place, such as the cargo bob we have here. When carrying a vehicle with a person inside it, be sure to not let it go too high in the air, as it can cause certain death for the player in the other vehicle. When in an in-air battle, like this one you see on your screen, it is very important that there is no rockets or missiles being fired, but as long as you have a cargo bob, you will always win, as this vehicle is a lot, lot stronger than other helicopters, such as the Maverick I'm going up against in this clip right here. The cargo bob is a very, very useful vehicle, as it floats on water, if you slowly go down to the water, it will perfectly float, and you will move by moving the analog stick just a little bit, and uh, as I demonstrate here, I'm rescuing my friend from the cops and myself, basically, but, yeah. <laughs> When you have vehicles as large as the Titan here, you will need a lot of runway as to it takes a long time to get the vehicle actually up in the air. When landing a Titan, remember to always put the landing gear up first and have a lot of runway as this vehicle is big and takes longer to slow down. Now, also remember, after every time you land any airplane, you should always taxi it back to its parking spot. Some vehicles, like cars, should not be in the air for extended periods of time. If they are in air for extended periods of time, this can cause injuries and or death to the person inside your vehicle and yourself. When taking off in a plane, make sure the runway is clear of cops and or any other thing that can get in your way, as this can cause you to die. Luckily for me, this time it didn't happen. The way you want to land your jets and any airplane you ever have 
is you want to slowly bring it to the ground with the landing gear down so that your wheels actually hit the ground without you dying. Also, you want to make sure after you have landed and stopped safely, taxi it back to its parking spot. You will not want to ever land a plane doing swirls all the way to the ground with your landing gear up. This will cause you to die. When taking off in a laser, make sure you give yourself plenty of room as this vehicle is very, very fast. Also, remember, you need to taxi it on the runway before you start taking off. When landing a jet, you will need to put down your landing gear so that you may not crash and burn and die. Yes, this is true. This will happen. But the most important thing is after it's landed safely on the ground, make sure you taxi it back to its rightful place in its parking spot. Once again, never land a plane like this. Just remember, you can always do an emergency landing without your landing gear. Just be careful, the Titan is probably the easiest to do this in, as it is very flat on the bottom and really, really easy. Remember to always watch out for other flyers in your area, as they can be total dickheads. Now that you have found your new passion for flying, and how to operate these vehicles safely, you can now go out there and enjoy the beautiful view and what's ahead. Thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little funny video I decided to make, uh, I had a lot of fun making it, and please rate, comment, and subscribe below.